YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy OB back with another video. If you're new to the channel, you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. Go ahead and smash that like button, leave me a comment, all of that. Uh, on share the video. Yeah, don't forget to do that. But anyways, um, so today, I know I look lazy right now, but I'm actually really hyped. I found a gun that I've been looking for for a minute. I'm talking about this is one of my dream revolvers. I've been looking for this gun for a minute. I This is actually one of the guns that I would buy used. I wouldn't buy a lot of guns used, but this gun I would actually buy used. So um, I went to the gun store and just basically looking around, and I seen this gun. And thankfully, it wasn't used. It was new old stock, so basically it's new, but they had it for a while. So let me show y'all what it is. I mean, y'all probably already know what it is from the thumbnail. Well, know what? Well, who's the manufacturer? Smith and Watson. Well, let me tell y'all, it is a revolver. This is my dream revolver right here. Well, one of my dream revolvers. And this is a super hard to find gun. Like, I'm telling you, you can't find it nowhere. Like, internet, random gun stores, anywhere. Like, it's super hard to find. So, I'm going to give y'all a little close and personal view of it. Show y'all, do a little unboxing for y'all. And yeah, let's get into it. All right, y'all. So here it is. Y'all ready for it? Y'all ain't, ain't ready for it. Let me go ahead and pop this box open for y'all. Try to do everything one hand. There it is. So y'all already knew it was a revolver. Let's see. Y'all drop y'all guesses in the comments. Let's see y'all if y'all can guess what this is. I mean, y'all can see that it comes in something that usually they come in a little bit longer barrel so y'all already know it's a stubby so while y'all guessing that let me show y'all what it came with the warranty card some little tools a little test fire kit um, a lock manual all the stuff we don't really care about so let me go ahead and show y'all what it is Paper really want to stay on there. Look at that. 500 Smith and Wesson Magnum. Snub nose. This thing is a beast, man. I've been looking for this gun for a minute. Like this gun is super hard to find. And honestly, like I like I told you before, I would buy this gun used. But I'm so happy that it was new. Like when I seen it, I I didn't even think twice. I had to take it. Uh, a little close up 500 magnum fiber optic front sights let me open this up for y'all so y'all can see that this is in. unloaded look at them holes in that cylinder man that thing is nasty so I've shot a 500 magnum before but never the 2 inch bear I mean never the 2 inch version it was the I think 3 and a half inch version so, I mean, that's that's the only one that you can really find now. And even those are getting really hard to find. The 4-inch and the 3.5-inch, especially the Performance Center. Um, so, those are kind of getting scarce. This gun is strictly going to be a, like a range toy. Some I, I use for the channel. Go to the range. Go to indoor ranges and outdoor ranges. Blow some stuff up. See what that 500 hitting like. Look at that man and this is the I don't know if y'all can see that the ES model emergency series and I didn't know that they had some of the emergency series um, that came in this blue case I thought all of them came in that that orange case with that um, orange grip and they also have the what the four, 460 that came in that yellowish case the yellow survival kit um and, it, and that one had the yellow grip but i didn't know they had they made you know plain ones in this blue case with a black grip this whole tamer grip you're gonna need this shooting full loads 500 magnums man that thing's going <sighs> honestly and what's crazy is i just had one of my subscribers ask me which one which one hit harder? Which one have more recoil? A 454 Casol and a 500 Magnum. So I shot a 500 Magnum, but it wasn't this one. 
and that 454 that thing can kick really like that thing especially the super red hawk alaskan that it's really hard um, controlling that muzzle rise but um i don't know honestly i don't know how because this this gun is heavier it's way heavier than the 454 and the 454 i think the one i shot the muzzle energy on that one was like 1900 or something like that from the hornady so this one i think i can i found some in the twos but it's also a bigger grain bullet so i heard that everybody's saying that the heaviest hitter on this is that 700 grain underwood so i'm gonna go copy some of those and see how that's see how that's feeling through to through this little snub nose 500 magnum um if y'all know any full power loads i think there's one with underwood and well the underwood is going to be the 700 grain and the hornady so if y'all know any other ones let me know and i'll probably cop those because i want to test out like i want to see what this really had to offer like i want to test out the full power of this thing i didn't buy it to you know, try to save my wrist, try to run the lightest loads I can find. I really want to put this thing through its paces. Especially compare it through uh compare it to that four fifty four. So I know that kicked. If y'all didn't see the video I did of random people shooting that and they said that one was horrible. I mean some people liked it. I mean I, I honestly like the recoil. Like I'm not recoil sensitive. Um I think it's fun to shoot. Um but some people really don't like it. This one does got the fluted cylinder. Honestly, I would prefer a non-fluted cylinder. I just think it looks better. They have that on the performance editor, three and a half inch barrel. I would prefer that, but I really wanted that two inch barrel. And this was, man, I've been looking for this for years. I honestly was about to settle and get that three and a half inch performance center. Cause that's a really nice one too especially the one with the that has the green grips on it so let me know what y'all think if y'all ever shot this before it's really like this gun let me see the test fire this gun was test fired in 2006 so then that that dude i mean he has a lot of old guns so like that dude or that store whatever had um, this sitting for a minute I just can't get over how big those holes are like, that don't make any sense so I, mean, I can't wait to take this to the range and clearly I'm gonna make a video for y'all show y'all how this is and I, I might honestly I might make a video of random stranger shooting this because most likely the average person have not shot a 500 magnum and if they have it was probably not the two inch barrel so that would be a fun experience watching people shoot it only people who want to honestly because i've seen some females even some males shoot some really heavy some really heavy loads and they end up hitting their stuff in the face dropping the gun so only if they want to shoot it i'll let them shoot it but other than that that's what it is Smith and Wesson 500. Oh, and this has a really nice single action. Look at that. I think it's Chris. That's probably one of the best single actions I've ever felt. It's really light. The double action is okay. Like it's a nice double action, but I I felt better. But that single action. thing is crisp man i love this gun i'm super happy i found it so yeah drop in the comments if y'all ever shot uh 500 magnum period and then if y'all really hit this two inch barrel um and let me know what kind of loads i should go buy what kind of ammo i should buy that's full powered i'm i'm really just looking for high powered i know a lot of people can say oh that gun is not practical you should have got the 30 inch barrel. Uh -huh. uh, it's like I'm not, this gun is strictly for fun. And I mean that 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 one is I mean the eight inch barrel, whatever it is, eight, nine inch barrel. I guess it has its place if you're going hunting. 
you're going to get a little bit more velocity out of that one because, I mean, clearly it has a longer barrel. But I feel like the people who buy it for, like, bear protection or, like, wild boar or something like that, for close combat, like, that gun's going to be really hard to pull out of a holster. You pull a big old 8-inch barrel, 9-inch barrel, whatever that is, out of a holster rather than just pulling this out. I don't care what kind of animal it is. Um, you hit them with this, they're going to feel it. And that's just like... Because it's not like the longer barrel shoots a bigger bullet. Like, you're really working with the same bullet. And if you check the ballistics, it's not that different. Like, yeah, you're going to have more on that one, but it's not going to be significantly different from, you know, from this one. To where it's just like, this one just renders... That one renders this one obsolete. Because it has a longer barrel. No, like, they're really close in ballistics if you if you guys would check it so yeah i just wanted to show y'all my newest pickup 500 smith and wesson magnum and i will take this to the range so stay tuned for that video oh and as for that giveaway um, a lot of people ask me when it's going to be it's going to be probably at the end of november or the beginning of december so look out for the info for that video i mean for that um giveaway i'm gonna put that info in the video Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one.